Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be working on another awesome natural antibiotic. This stuff is awesome. I mean, we're making fermented garlic with honey. And that's the best way to make it. I'm going to show you the process of doing this. Um, first, like always, go ahead and peel your garlic this is this is so so much fun <laughs> um, however you you want to do this the best way you do it um, I would suggest get using uh, homemade or homegrown garlic this is garlic that has been dried and stuff that came out of my garden um, this year actually which as you may may or may not know and I, I'm having such difficult right now trying trying to get the, the stuff off of that, this one here <laughs> I I've, I've been peeling this stuff for 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 like an hour as you can see it, it takes it takes a bit of time um, but you want to get all this stuff off and you want to cut the bad spots off see there's there is a bad spot right there. There we go. You just go, go ahead and cut that off. If it's too bad, you just cut it in half. There you go. Stick it in the bottle. Rinse and repeat. Seems like a never-ending thing here. Usually you can get that edge right off, and it, it, it come off really easy. See, just like that. And you peel peel this stuff until you get a amount, and I'm I'm pretty much at that amount right now. I usually fill the jar up about halfway, a little bit more, and then uh, go from there. As you can see, there we go. We have a perfectly clean one right there, no bug bites on it or anything. Plop it in there, and the the easy part here comes. Go ahead and put this over here. We get our, ourselves some nice honey. This is a kind of a local area. It's in this area. It's Great Lakes. Um, we're going to go ahead and fill this jar up over the top of our garlic. And you may have to do this a few times. Because it, it, being so thick, it may take a while for, for it to work its way down. Close that off. We want to wiggle this around. With that set for a little bit and let it soak down. And as you can see, it's working its way down. And you, you want the honey a little bit above the garlic. See, there's an air bubble releasing some more of this. Once once that gets motivated a little bit, we will um, show you the next st step in this. Now, there's many ways you can do this. You can just put a regular lid on top of this and make sure, make sure your jars and everything is sterilized, just like as, as you were canning this stuff. Um, because you don't want any bacteria in there, even though the honey is, will actually eat the bacteria and it won't spoil. Honey is a great preservative, um, and making this, let's see if I can shake it around a little bit. Blob it a little bit. Make sure there's no bubbles coming out from under there. As you can see, we got some right there. Um, go ahead and put this down in there. See if we can move this about. There we go. That golden delicious. Now, if you have your own honey, that's the way to go. Unfortunately, I don't have my own honey, so...
Try not to make a mess like I did yesterday. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and add some more honey. Like I said, you want an inch or two, two inches above the garlic. And what you're, once you are done with this part of it, you want go ahead and look all through there and make sure that all that garlic is covered with honey. Now, like I said, there's a couple ways to do this. You can use the old regular lid and the ring to put over top of there. And then about every, every couple days, you're going to release the pressure because it is going to, to accumulate uh, its own gases it's going to release. So you have to release those. And then um, less and less as the month goes on, you're going to do it less and less. Uh, but there's much easier ways to do this. I like to get these little burpy things. It's good for fermenting things. Um, these usually come in, in the bigger jars, so I just went ahead and cut it for the size of the jar I am using. Um, like I said, the easiest way to do this for me is just put this on there and forget about it. I'll put it in a cool dark spot somewhere and a few months down the road I have fermented garlic. And the thing is with this stuff, what you can do is uh, eventually this the, the thickness of this will end up turning into... Um, a lot runnier consistency and if you're not feeling good one day or you feel something coming on and you've been somewhere or your kids have been uh, telling you it's a lot of sick people in school or things like that uh, take a spoonful of this and again like I always say of these I am not a doctor I'm not an expert in this uh, do your own research but like I said, this stuff is its own natural um, antibiotic. And if you have any elements like uh, flu, cold, um, that other thing that happened or is happening, um, you take just take a spoonful of this. If you're feeling really bad, uh, eat a whole garlic clove with a spoonful of the honey. Uh, it's natural, natural organic um, well, organic, depending on how much stuff you, what you put in there. Um, like the garlic, it's organic because I know what I put in the ground. I know the fertilizer I put in, which is bunny fertilizer. And yeah, it's, it's good stuff. Now, all you're going to do is wipe the lid down. Because you, you want this, the honey that I just made a mess with on the lid of this, you don't want it sticking to your burper. I think that's what they call them, burpers. You just put this on there. And it will burp the gas out. It won't let anything in there like bugs or anything like that because it is sealed. And... In a few months, I like to leave the stuff in there for at least two months. For me, you if you, you're feeling sick and whatnot, you can actually um, use this within a, probably, I would say a month at, at the, the least, a month. Um, like I said, I like to let this set in for at least a month. And two months the be is the better then you can start taking it. And I, I try to try to make one of these a year. Um, you'd be surprised. I grow garlic just for this purpose, not just to cook, but I use it for this purpose only to make fermented garlic.
Um, until next time, guys, God bless.